driving down to Suffolk makes a, a lovely change. It's a, a different a different scene for the bird. Um, nice new environment, and of, of course different landscapes. Uh, they all throw up different challenges for the for the bird as as well as me. But it's it's a good bit of sport wherever you do it in the country. I like I like the whole buzz <coughs> of getting ready to go out hunting and going out for a hawking day. Today I'm looking after the ferrets because we're ferreting for the hawks. We're working some young ferrets today. It'll be their first time out and it'll be interesting to see how they get on. And uh, they won't understand that we're only ferreting to hawks. They'll just be doing what ferrets do, what's naturally in their DNA. Hence, occasionally, we may have to dig. The conditions started off great this morning and then quickly got windy. So we have to start thinking about positions of where we're going up to Warrens, which way the, the rabbits are going to bolt, and which way the bird's going to fly most comfortably. So we don't want the bird going into the wind too much because it's like hitting a bit of a wall. He's never going to be as fast as he would be going downwind. But we don't want them sat with us with the wind up their, their bum. Um, it's uncomfortable, it brushes all the feathers the wrong way. So there's various different things we need to think about and it all revolves around the bird. Is the bird looking keen? Is he in a good mood? Is he in a bad mood? Um, so weight's a, a serious well, a serious issue really. If you're flying your bird an ounce overweight, he's not going to perform as well as he would do if he was hungry enough to hunt. They're, we're honing what they do naturally. So it's all about putting the, the game in the bag to put on the table. The one thing I've noticed about Suffolk is the rabbits are quick. <laughs> They're a bit quicker than up in Cheshire. Um, it depends on direction they're running in and what obstacles are in the way. The bird will happily take off and give chase and he will keep going until the bird knows whether there's a chance or not. It's always a risk and reward trade-off, if we like. Um, so if the rabbit's running into the wind, the bird hasn't got as much chance as if the rabbit run downwind. Yeah, he's, he's going to use whatever natural advantage he can. So we had, we had a, a few hours out hawking this morning and in complete contrast to what Simon and Sutty normally do, it, which is pest control, it, you know, their only aim is, is to catch rabbits, whereas with a hawk our only aim is the sport. If the rabbit gets away and it's been a great chase, perfect, that, that's what we want. Um, you, you see the various different challenges that, that we, we put up with. So if they ferreting down a, a hedgerow, for instance, it's impossible for me to see both sides of the hedgerow, and the bird can see both sides of the, the hedgerow at the same time. It can't be done. So a good 50% at least do get away. We were fortunate, and the, the bird was rewarded with a rabbit at the, at the end of the day. Um, all the conditions were right, the rabbit running the right direction. We had you know, low wind, so the bird could maintain its speed rather than fighting a headwind. And it all just worked out well. At the end of the day, we had a great day's sport. It was totally alien to what we're used to, with uh, watching a few rabbits get away. It was great to see the hawk in action. When we finally got a rabbit to bolt, just the sheer speed and power of that bird.